Good morning everybody, so uh, this is Mike and this morning I'm going to show you guys how to make um, some beaver lure from the castor and oil sacks you harvest uh, off of beaver you've trapped. So today I've got a couple of uh, full castor glands. Um, I got three from the three beaver I've harvested so far this year. Um, this is pretty simple guys, you just need a sharp knife, this is my uh, Benchmade Steep Country. Um, something to grind the caster up with, something to preserve it with, um, and then something to store it in. So this is a pretty simple process. Um, I do have a couple of quick, you know, little tips and tricks for you today. Um, the first one being um, cardboard. So this is treated cardboard from a product I just purchased, this little blender. Um, and having the, the coating on the outside actually makes this a lot um, easier because fluid won't leak through the cardboard and then get on your cutting surface. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is um, you want to wear gloves when you're handling this stuff because it does have a very strong smell. Um, these are the only gloves I have left, so I'm going to wear them um, because I don't want this stuff getting under my nails. Um, I don't want my kids smelling like it when I go back inside. Um, so uh, normally I would just wear some um, black latex gloves, but I'm actually out of those. So today I'm wearing some field dressing gloves that came in a field dressing kit for deer. Um, quick note, uh, you guys will see my Ducks Fear Me um, t-shirt and my Driftless Angler hat. Um, ducks Fear Me, they're out of Colorado. They make some absolutely wonderful duck calls. Very, very easy to blow. They're great beginner calls. They're great advanced calls too. Driftless Angler, uh, Viroqua, Wisconsin. Big reason that I um, started beaver trapping was to help out our trout, trout population here in Wisconsin. So um, Driftless Angler, um, they're always around. They're always uh, ready to help people. Um, they're fantastic. So if you're in Viroqua or uh, the, the Driftless area, stop by, um, check them out. Um, so, okay, so here is a full caster gland. Now when I say that, I mean that this thing is entirely intact. So you'll see um, the oil sacks up here, um, which we are going to use as well. But the first thing we gotta do with this is we need to get the castor glands freed um, and we need to get the oil sacs freed. Um, and how you do that is with a very, very sharp knife. So I'm gonna try to show you what I have here. Um, so this is one lobe of the castor gland uh, right here and there's the oil sac right there on top. So I'm just gonna slice all of that free real quick. And that, that oil sack, um, that's a big part of what makes this stuff smell, guys. So you, you when you're making this lure, you really wanna keep um, that separate. You don't wanna just grind up all the caster and all the oil sack together. Um, Cause that will be way, way overpowering. You just want a little bit of that sack oil in your lure.
So now I've got the caster gland separated. Um, you want to try to get as much of this membrane off as you can. Um, just be careful. Go slow. Um, you know, obviously nobody's in a rush here. But what you're going to do is you're basically going to take this um, and you're going to just kind of chunk it. Um, pieces here. About like that. And then that is going to go in your food processor. You're going to add a little bit of glycerin to shelf stabilize it. Um, and then you can pack it in whatever you want. And um, that is how you make some homemade beaver lure. So thanks for joining me today, guys. And uh, I will talk to you later. Bye.